Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Taurus, let's take a look and see what is going on for you guys. The person on your mind, the way they're viewing you at this time, we have the Ace of Wands. Their, their feelings for you, we have the Ace of Cups. Their intentions towards you, we have the Seven, no, the Five of Swords. Sorry guys, it's a new deck, I'm still getting familiar. The Five of Swords, the challenge between the two of you, the Fool, their next actions towards you, we have the Devil, and the potential outcome, we have the Moon. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles for the general overall energy. I'm going to be very honest with you. I do feel like this is a new person here, Taurus. That being said, I don't feel like... I feel like somebody's still pretty hung up on a past situation, okay? That's what this is feeling like to me. So I do feel like somebody's interested in you. They have the Ace of Wands, very attracted to you. They feel like you could be a new beginning or a new start for them. They definitely feel like there's potential here. Um, you know, you stir up some feelings in them that they haven't kind of felt in a while. I feel like this person is going through some kind of pretty, pretty painful breakup. There could have been some kind of betrayal involved in it. And I just feel like they're, I feel like they're really struggling. Okay. Uh, we got that Ten of Swords. We got the Knight of Swords here. It could be very reactive. I almost feel like this person... They may not be in the best control over their emotions. They have the Queen of Cups here. And sometimes the Queen of Cups, she's very she's very in her feelings, but she's not always in the most control over her feelings. Sometimes she kind of allows her feelings to kind of run the show here. And I do kind of feel like that with that Knight of Swords being a very reactive energy, right? So it's like something could trigger this person very easily. We have this Page of Swords. They could see something, hear something, read something. You know, I feel like this person could be very easily triggered and then they kind of get themselves into a, a tough space, okay? So I feel like right now this person's asking themselves, you know, am I ready for something new? Is this something I should invest into? But I also don't feel like they're necessarily in the best place for it. Now, this could also end up being your energy as well with the Seven of Pentacles, where I feel like you're kind of intuitively kind of seeing this. You may see that this person's maybe not in the best place and you're like, ask, or they're, you know, they don't really have it all together or something like that. And I feel like you're sensing that and you're like, I, should I invest into this? Is this something that I should open myself up to? So even though I feel like this person is attracted to you and they definitely see potential here for a new beginning, I do feel like they are very conflicted. But I feel like this is because they keep like kind of like looking back over at their past here. The challenge is this full energy. Now the full card can talk about taking a chance, taking a leap of faith, having a new beginning. And I with whatever card is in the challenge position, it basically puts it into that reverse meaning. So it, this could be this person, one, feeling like they are not quite ready for a new beginning or a new start. This could also be you feeling like maybe with this person being where they are mentally and emotionally, it may not be the best investment for you. It may be too risky for your heart to give too much to this, right? But I do feel like you could be very caring, compassionate, and very understanding towards this person. Their next energy, we do have this devil. Now, you know, for some of you guys, this person could, they could be drinking too much or like there's some, I feel like there's some kind of way in which they are trying to cope with their feelings that may not be the healthiest, whatever that looks like. Maybe they're going out too much. Maybe they're drinking too much or they're just kind of like throwing themselves into some vices here, okay? They could just be very obsessive over that past situation. It, this 
could just be kind of a, a negative, unhealthy energy just all the way around with this person. And then we have the moon card for the potential outcome. You know, the moon card asks, and you ask you in the tarot, it says that there are things that you cannot see up ahead. And it asks you to kind of, it says you can't see everything. You don't have all the information. Um, proceed with caution. Okay, so I definitely feel like a spirit is cautioning you here. It's not saying don't be there for this person, but the Seven of Pentacles is a card that says, is it worth it? Is it a good investment? Should I invest my energy into this? And how much should I? Okay, so I feel like spirit's really wanting you to analyze this person, this connection, this situation, and figure that out. You know, is this something that is good for you to invest in? And, and how much should you give? You know, what boundaries may you need to have in place? Um, when dealing with this because I just don't feel I don't feel like this person's a bad person I just feel like they may not be in the best control over their emotions or they may not be handling or processing their emotions in the best way I also feel like you know they may just not be in a space where they're ready for um you know something new at this time so I would definitely be kind of cautious about this moon energy here even here with this five of swords being their intention the five of swords sometimes can talk about getting what you want by any means necessary so i do almost feel like for some of you guys this person could want to um you know maybe even make somebody jealous a little bit here because i just don't feel like they're i don't feel like they're over this past situation at all and i feel like that other person could have gotten really cold to them and rejected them they could have been really cutting they could have blocked them here and um, and I just feel like they're really struggling with this situation. Like I said, I definitely feel like there was some betrayal. I saw the Seven of Swords. You had the Ten of Swords there. I do feel like this person could have experienced a lot of betrayal when it comes to that. So, you know, it's, it's rightfully so that they're upset. But I just don't feel like they're ready for something, you know, quite new at this time. But that is what I have for you. The signs I'm seeing, we have Taurus. We have all the fire signs. Uh, we have Aries, Leo, Sag. All the water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Aquarius. You have Aries. You have Capricorn and Pisces. So those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. Um, but if it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements, everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.